In this video, we are going to look at the prone instability test for hip micro instability. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Hip micro instability is a relatively new clinical entity of hip pathology in the young patient. Normal hip stability, as with other joints, such as the shoulder, depends on the relationship between bony structures, muscles and ligaments. In the hip joint, that would be the acetabulum, its labrum, the ligamentum teres, the capsular ligamentous complex and various muscles around the joint. Now, while a direct cause for hip microinstability may not always be identifiable, both traumatic and atraumatic onsets are described in the literature. The pathophysiological mechanism is assumed to be related to repetitive axial and or rotational loading of the hip in the presence of anatomic abnormalities of the previously listed structures. Common assessments next to a thorough patient history include hyperlexity assessment using the Baten score, for which we have a video that you can watch by a click in the top right corner, and lately special tests for the condition that have been described and evaluated on their validity. According to Hoppe et al. in 2017, the prone instability test has a sensitivity of 33.9% and a specificity of 97.9%. This is the first study to evaluate this test on its validity and has a couple of limitations, so the results should be used with caution until further validation has taken place, which is why we give it a moderate clinical value in including the condition. To conduct the test, the patient lies in prone position and you are going to stand on the unaffected side. Flex the knee of the affected leg to 90 degrees to use it as a lever to induce external rotation. Place your other hand on the posterior aspect of the greater trochanter. Then, while you externally rotate the leg, apply a downward force at the greater trochanter. The reproduction of anterior hip pain is consistent with a positive test result for instability. Alright, that was our video on the prone instability test. You can check another test for the condition such as the ab her test on the left. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel in case you haven't yet, it helps us out a ton. Check the links in the video description to our assessment ebook, our assessment mobile app, other ways to support this channel and to our social media accounts. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.